What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mars Show. It is time for another episode of our 2021 Fantasy Football Pick'em. It is week 13, people. If you're new to this says, series of videos, I talk about how I did last week for one of the loss, as well as go ahead and set my lineup for the current week. And it's pretty much that simple. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you have been watching these videos, you already know from seeing this video where I'm at. If you have not seen last week, week before video, uh, guys, so check this out. Your boys are square and woos right there, number four, uh, seven and five. So that means only one thing, people. Your boy won last week's game. That's right, people. I am on a nice little winning streak. So, yes, 147.90 to 120.30. So I'm sitting pretty in fourth place right now, seven and five, and just gotta keep record these wins and keep outscoring the team. As you see, uh, right now I'm at one thousand six hundred twenty-three points, nine, uh, twenty-three point nine two points for the year so far. So sitting good, sitting pretty. So just gotta keep it winning, winning, and just gotta do what I have to do to be in the top four. So with that being said. Let's go ahead and get my lineup set for week 13, people. All right, so let's go. You already know quarterback Josh Allen ain't going nowhere. Cooper Cup staying in. Um, I got uh, Manuel Sanders in. Fournette killed for me last week. He had almost 40-some points when they went against uh, the Colts. Uh, Stevenson's in. Coakland. My tight end, Josh Jacobs, I'm not taking that chance again because on Thanksgiving week, he had 19 points and he's on my bench. So, yes, he's going to get the start. As you guys see here, uh, Devontae Adams is on my bye. I don't trust Crowder this week. Uh, Matt Jones is, of course, not going in. My kicker is Butler. I actually um, had uh, the kicker uh, Crosby for Green Bay. I dropped him. Picked up Buckler for the rest of the season, so that's what I'm rolling with. Oh boy, so my defense. I didn't think Dallas would hit 17 points because they played this past Thursday night. So I went with come up with a safe bet with Tampa Bay. So, you know, 17 points is really good against the defense. Uh, Dallas defense actually scored last uh, this past week, so it is what it is. So I'm hoping Tampa Bay could at least get 17 points. Because Atlanta sucks. They really do suck. Hopefully the defense could, could do something to at least maybe get above 15. I, I'll be happy with that. I'll be happy to get above 15 points with uh, Tampa Bay's defense. So that's my squad. Pretty simple this week. Pretty easy. I ain't had to make no changes. Um, so that's what I'm sitting at. Now the other team here. Let's go ahead and change that real fast, people. All right, against the known one again, he's already got 17 points. As you see, he had Tony Pollard, you know, for Dallas. You no, know, killed it this past week. See, if I would have Dallas in, I'd be pretty much sitting sitting pretty right now. But that's okay because even with his 17 points he already scored, he's projected only to win by seven points. So I, I think I could overtake that. Especially since he has Brady, Metcalf, Renfro, Connor, Andrews, Freeman, Boswell, and Arizona defense. Or a feeling one of these guys on his on his team are not gonna do it. Not gonna look good at all. But my boy's gonna show up. Or I have a feeling they will. So I expect to go seven and five uh, after this weekend. So that's where I'm sitting at, guys. Now let's go ahead and take a look into Week 14, do I have anybody playing on Thursday night? Well, let's see here. New, England, New England's on my bye. So, Copeland, he plays Thursday. So, Minnesota plays Pittsburgh. And so, he will be in. He's not going nowhere. And that is really it. He's the only player I have for next week. So, I'm good with that. Well, guys, this is a short video. As you see, <laughs> really short. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are in the playoff hunt on any of your fantasy football leagues out there. If you're not, 
that's okay because guess what? You can probably ruin someone else's chances of making the playoffs. I'm all for that. No, definitely be a spoiler. So that's it, guys, for his video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up as you see on screen right now. Don't forget to like and share the video with other people. And once again, good luck to everyone out there on week 13 uh, on the fancy leagues. Keep killing. Keep the, um, doing what you have to do to make the playoffs and win that big money. So that's it. And the Wisdom Baby Zoe. We'll see you next time. Peace.